Good afternoon, boils and ghouls. Welcome back to another Round the Clock Fright segment. My name is Kimberly, and today I am going to be reviewing my first viewing of the 1997 film Jack Frost. And before you all ask, no, this is not that family-friendly Jack Frost starring Michael Keaton that we all just know and love and we watch every year around Christmas time. No, this movie came out a year prior to that Jack Frost and it is more of a, it is more of a horror comedy. I say comedy because when you actually go on Peacock, which is where I was actually streaming this movie last night, they had it classified as a comedy more so than a horror movie. And when you watch this movie, you can kind of see why it was classified as a comedy. But nonetheless, it is still a horror movie because there are some scenes in there that would definitely say so. But I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys a blind reaction. I was asked by my good friend Josh to blind react to the bathtub scene in this movie. And I had a feeling when he said, film my blind reaction to a bathtub scene, this did not sound like it was going to be good. And let's just... I'll let you guys be the audience and watch me blind react to the scene and you'll see exactly how I felt about this bathtub scene. So let's go ahead and roll the footage and we'll come right back here. What I don't get is why she just blow dried her hair just to get in the bathtub. What the hell? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What the heck? What the hell? What the heck? What kind of snowman porno is this? Alright, so you just saw my blind reaction to that bathtub scene. And how my emotions portrayed in that scene is exactly how I felt. Like, what the heck was I just watching? Like, no. That was just, that was just bad. Like, that whole scene in general was like, as I said in my blind reaction, what kind of snowman porno was this? Like, what the heck? <laughs> But nonetheless, that was so terrible. Like even the sexual innuendos that Jack Frost himself makes just has you, just has you cringing. It was just so bad. And I'm gonna go ahead and kick off and talk about this. You already know my thoughts already about this particular scene, but I'm gonna start off by giving you guys my overall thoughts on this movie, just because my thoughts on this movie from beginning to end is not gonna be is not gonna be particularly nice like maybe maybe one or two things but for the most part no <laughs> but um you know it's we're gonna go ahead and just jump right into it but my overall thoughts of this movie was that it was so ridiculously bad that you just can't stop watching it. Like you're literally just sitting there in your seat watching this to see if there's gonna be any redeeming quality to this movie or is it just gonna blow up in your face at the end? And let's just say this movie kind of just blows up in your face at the end because this movie to me, in my opinion, was not my favorite. Like every Christmas, I like to check out a new horror Christmas movie and 
from past reviews that you guys have seen us do. For example, 2019, me and Josh reviewed the 2019 film Black Christmas. And let's just say, I thought that movie was just, that movie was just a downright bad. And last year actually didn't run across any movies that were pretty bad that were Christmas, um, even viewing some of the older ones. Uh, so far, that 2019 Black Christmas was still ranked the worst. And compared to this one, compared to this one, I'd probably still say Black Christmas is ranked higher. I mean, I can't, like I said, I can see, it, like I said, it was just so bad that you couldn't stop watching it. But at the same time, Black Christmas was so bad, I really just wanted to start watching it. I just wanted to walk out of that movie theater. So that's why I'm still going to rank Black Christmas as the worst Christmas horror movie the 2019 not the um 1970s one because that one was actually really good but yes anyways you've seen those reviews we're gonna go ahead and jump into jack frost so i'm gonna start off by saying that this opening shot was it was kind of interesting just to see how it was set up but in this opening shot we had a it was pretty much more of uh what do you call it cute little snowmans and cute little Christmas decor or Christmas stuff as you have a narrative of a father telling his little girl a bedtime story and this little girl suggests to her dad that she wanted something something scary and of course the dad goes into talking about a story of Jack Frost and it wasn't a kid-friendly Jack Frost story he started talking about how Jack Frost went on a murderous rampage and killed a lot of people, which is not how we actually, it's not how we open and watch a, a family friendly Christmas movie. So we already knew we were in for a treat from the beginning when he starts talking about a mur murderous snowman on a rampage. So I will say the opening shot did kind of bring me in, but then it opens up after that with the, uh, I can't remember how that went. It opened up with the the town oh no it did not open up with the town i am so sorry it opened up with the uh the uh, police officers or the police officers are driving in a really huge bad snowstorm they have a murderer in the back i think they're taking him off to prison and they get into um an accident i'm trying to remember what caused this accident i think jack frost did something i know i'm just having a total like brain been a long day but uh yeah so like they ended up having to stop their vehicle and he ends up getting loose jack frost and at this point jack frost is not um a, he's not in his snowman form yet he's still just a regular human it, it kind of reminded you to be honest it kind of reminded me of child's play how the very first original child's play movie opened up with charles lee ray obviously in his human form and not in his chucky form uh running from the police as they're trying to hunt him down and he gets into the uh toy store gets gunned down and then he transfers his body over to one of the good guy dolls kind of reminds me of that in that aspect because this guy is getting ready to murder these guys and then i think the truck blew up or like because it got rolled over gas and all that got like gas and fire ignited and like some kind of chemicals blew out at him and excuse me started burning his skin all you know skin off and he becomes like all skeleton and then ends up just falling falls into the snow and then you see his blood pouring out and then it just gets sucked into the snow so kind of like in that aspect with um charles lee ray putting himself into chucky his blood sinks into the snow and it's almost like his form just um, form in his soul just gets sucked into the snow which later on becomes the snowman but um yeah and that's pretty much more of the opening and the start of what we have to come and all the while the special effects on one hand is just so ridiculously bad but I'm not surprised because the budget on this film was very low so it wasn't like it was something we were expecting a lot of um great special effects 
they're just working off of a budget they had. So yeah, you can t totally tell just by some of these um, shots itself. But yeah, he ends up getting pretty much the police officer thinks he's already murdered. He's gone. They don't have to deal with him anymore. And then it picks up into a small little town. Everybody's getting ready for Christmas. They're putting up like these little snowman displays or not snowmans, but like ice sculptures and stuff for like events that the town is going to be hosting. And you get introduced to some characters and let's, I'm going to say right now, I didn't recognize a whole lot of actors. There was a couple and I didn't usually, I'm on top of Googling them. I only Googled one because, she, you know, she totally looked familiar and I already knew who she was from, but it was Shannon Elizabeth who played in Scary Movie 1 as Buffy and um, American Pie. So, and I believe this was actually one of her first, uh, her first roles, her first role debut in film. And yeah, sorry, I cannot look at her character the same after that whole, that whole bathtub scene, because yes, that bathtub scene involved Shannon Elizabeth and yeah. <laughs> but I mean, a lot of the acting in this movie, I want to say was phenomenal, like, and I, I don't know if it's mostly because of them per se or just the script they had to handle because a lot of the dialogue in this movie was just so cheesy and just so bad. Like a lot of the, um, the puns they use in this movie just granted some of them were funny. Like um, there's a scene that happens way later on and most of these puns come from Jack Frost himself, but um it's right towards, almost towards the end where he's, um, where the whole town is almost like ganging up to kill Jack Frost. And he ends up having to, like, as they like already blew him up and stuff, well, blew him up. And then he ended up coming back into his form of the snowman. Um, he, uh, makes a pun because, or he makes a pun because I guess his, his form doesn't come back as a full snowman. He had like body parts like everywhere. Like his like arm is like up here and his head was like down. It was just, he just looked like a goofy old snowman. Um, just, yeah. And one of his puns was, or I can't remember how exactly it was like, look, I'm a Picasso. And I was like, what? No. <laughs> just some of these lines just were so bad. Those sexual puns, those really just were cringy. It was almost like, please, just... I already watched a just snowman pretty much have sex with this, with this girl. And then he's now trying to make some jokes. And it's like, no, this is just a little too weird. Like, ah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'm not going to say it was per se the actors. Because I'm sure the actors, you know, like, well... Yeah, I mean, I've seen Shannon Elizabeth and I've seen her in Scary Movie and granted that movie was ridiculous, but in a funny way, that one I actually really enjoyed, at least the first, the first two I did. And then she went and did American Pie and I guess her acting was, it was okay. Um, but yeah, so I mean, like, I'm sure a lot of these actors other movies they've went on to do were probably better. They're probably just working off of a script that they had with this movie. And since everything else was just a mess with this movie, I am, I'm not surprised that the, you know, they had to deal with what they had to, had for dialogue. So I'll give, I'll give them, I'll give them a little bit more of a break with this movie. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and then the special effects were, were not the greatest like the one scene that just oh my gosh I just couldn't I it, it was bad and I felt so bad because you earlier on have a scene where this little boy is picking on the main character's son I guess he's out this is when we first get introduced to Jack Frost in his um snowman form but the he pretty much had his form already done this little boy comes out for making cookies because his mom wants to clean the kitchen and he comes out and he's putting like the little rock or the little rocks for his eyeballs and the carrot as his nose. So he's just he's just minding his business in his own backyard, building the snowman. And then you get the typical bullies that come in and was like, move out of my way. I'm gonna, you know, like run you over and start picking on him. 
And then it came to the point where Jack Frost, and at this point, because he's already put all the pieces together, he ends up coming to life. Um, he coming coming to life, and he ends up taking that, taking one of the bully's sled that he had, and ends up rolling over his head and ends up killing this little boy. So decapitating this boy in front of the other little boy's face. First of all, the comment that little boy made when Jack Frost killed that boy was so freaking hysterical. It was only hysterical because any little boy that just witnesses a murder would have been like, oh my god, they would be freaking out, mom, you know, like this, or because the snowman came alive, oh my god, the snowman just came alive and killed this boy. No, this kid literally just stands there and like, oh, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Like, he's just, he's more concerned that he didn't do it, that the snowman just did. Almost like it was normal that the snowman came to life and just murdered this kid. And it was like, oh my gosh, like, no, no way. But uh, this kid gets decapitated. His head gets decapitated. And then, like, you um, you feel bad for the family because it's like, wow, your, your son just died. And it was more so the mom because the mom seemed like a real sweetheart. The dad was, he just seemed like a typical asshole from earlier on like you get introduced to those two main those two characters earlier before the kid dies but I didn't care for the dad too much he seemed like an asshole that just he just was mean to his wife he was like oh I don't care because his like wife's all getting into the Christmas spare know, ah, like just like a freaking Grinch and um yeah so you, I felt more bad for the mom because the mom's just so calm about it and was like oh my gosh trying to keep her peace and stuff but um but then later on because Shannon Elizabeth, she, that she's the daughter, so that little boy with her brother and stuff like that, she ends up running off. Just her brother just died that same day, and she ends up running off to go have sex with her boyfriend or a boy she liked. I don't know, but she was not at all concerned about her brother's death. Just runs off. So the mom and the dad's at home just doing some Christmassy stuff, and or more so not Christmassy stuff. Sorry. They're getting over the loss of their son, but they're just sitting around and stuff. And yeah, it's just, I don't know. Like this scene right here had me like, I don't, I shouldn't have been laughing because I felt more bad for the family just losing their son. And then all of a sudden they just get, they just get murdered. Like the dad gets murdered and then the mom ends up getting murdered. And I felt so bad that the mom got murdered. I know more so than the dad because the dad was an asshole, but, <laughs> but she gets murdered. But the special effects were so bad I just couldn't stop laughing like I felt like I was like oh my god I know it's just a horror movie but I feel so bad but like the scene unfolds to where like Jack you see Jack Frost go he rises up into a snowman form behind her armchair because she's just sitting in her armchair looking forward I think she's knitting at the same time and then all of a sudden her Christmas tree lights go out like her Christmas tree so she walks over she goes to plug her lights back in you know come on so she ends up like like feeling around on the ground for whatever it was and she feels that it's wet which meant like the snowman obviously melted a little bit and got water on the floor and she's very concerned she turns around or she gets up and then turns around and Jack Ross is right there and he ends up grabbing her and just start um smashing her face into the Christmas bulbs or like the balls the Christmas balls and then takes the Christmas bulb and just shoves it right into her mouth like I mean, the scene was just, like, the whole special effects was just bad. Like, you just see the, just the way the head movements, the head jerks, and then, like, you see the blood and the, like, the freaking shards of glass coming out of her face. And it's, like, it was so bad, and I couldn't stop laughing because of how bad it was. Not because of her death scene, because it was, like, that's pretty bad. But, but then, like, later on, she's pretty much tied up to the Christmas tree with the star just sticking out of her head. And I was just, like... This is so bad, but I can't stop watching it. Like, this whole movie, and then it didn't really even follow a whole story, per se. Like, yeah, you had the story of this guy being a criminal, and he was supposed to be escorted off to, you know, prison. But then he ends up getting loose for, like, ten minutes before his fate ends, it ends pretty quick from a, um, what do you call it? toxic waste explosion and after that when he comes back to life he doesn't have no goal in mind just murdering anybody and everybody like I mean it's, there was just no 
there was just no motive like oh like maybe like the main character the main dad who was the police officer that was there that witnessed his death like maybe he would have came back and wanted to kill him because he was going to take him off to prison like no there was no set motive like it was more so he just came back and just started killing everybody in the town like oh well my form just rose up here or because it was in the same town of his murder he just started killing people <sighs> it, it was it was a complete mess i can't i can't tell you if i found any redeeming qualities maybe a couple of jokes here and there that were that were decent but for the most part like like i said the acting was not the greatest the special effects were horrible the jokes for the most part were bad and there was no story like there was no actual set story if that makes any sense like, like i said i've seen some other christmas horror movies that were pretty good like you got krampus and you got Better Watch Out, which actually, I really enjoyed that movie for a Christmas horror movie because you would not have expected any of that. But this one, it just, it was almost like they said, hey, we never had a horror movie that had a snowman come to life and just kill everybody. So let's go ahead and make a film about a snowman that just goes around murdering everybody because that would be cool. And it wasn't. This movie definitely did not pass the vibe check. <laughs> And I definitely would give it a, it's definitely ranked up there with Black Christmas 2019, but it's like second down from it because Black Christmas is still up there as number one, or the 2019 Black Christmas. Then it goes Jack Frost and then so forth. So it's, it's ranked up there. This was not my favorite, but I will say I gave it a chance. I give it a watch because... I love horror movies and I will give any, I'll give any horror movie a chance because sometimes I'm surprised. Like, better watch out. I never seen it, got recommended it and loved it. But, excuse me. But yes, that that was my thoughts on the, tw uh, almost a 2019 Black Christmas. That was my thoughts on the 1997 Jack Frost, the horror movie. Again, not the Michael Keaton Jack Frost because I actually really enjoyed that movie too. <laughs> But um, I hope you all are having a wonderful Christmas. Um, we do we do have a lot of like, I, I know Christmas time is more of like a holly jolly. Let's watch some family friendly movies. Me, I like to check out some Christmas horror movies. Gotta, gotta still pull out my Krampus movie and um, a few other ones to kind of set the, set that holiday horror spirit. <laughs> but I hope you all stay spooky, stay safe and See you again soon. Bye.